everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today, I'm gonna share something with you that some of you may not know. I love basketball. I have been my whole life watching sports, baseball here and there, football here and there, but basketball is the one that I actually have really been drawn to and enjoy and really get into the game every time it happens. My favorite team has always been the Lakers. And unfortunately, for the last couple of years, they have not made it to the championship. They haven't been doing very good, but things are about to change. We have a new player, LeBron James. I have been so excited ever since he came to the Lakers. I knew that was gonna happen. As soon as they lost the championship, I knew Magic Johnson was gonna be able to get LeBron to come over to the Lakers, and he did, and I am so excited about that. I'm really excited because their first game of the season is tonight, October 18th at 7.30 p.m. on TNT. It's an away game. They're playing the Trailblazers. So by the time you see this, that game is already gonna be over, but hopefully they will have won their first game of the season. Their second game of the season is Saturday, October 20th, and it is a home game. It's gonna be aired on ESPN2. So I am super excited. I hope they win both of those games. I'm really looking forward to it. During the preseason, they won three games, lost three games, but they really used that time as practice to really work on their ball handling and work together, figure out how to work together as a team when they're playing another team. And you could see them progress as the preseason games went on, and it was really amazing to watch the progress. But now I have a little bit of gossip and trivia for you. Let's go. Let's talk about LeBron James for a minute. He has been in the last eight finals. That is amazing, with the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers. So he was recently in an interview and they asked him if he was concerned that potentially this could be the first year that he isn't in the finals because they have so many young players on the Lakers. And he indicated that he's not concerned about that at all. He is so excited to be working with these young players. He's excited to teach them and to learn from them as well because he knows that over the next couple of years they are going to become an amazing, strong team. And that is exactly what I'm excited about. I know that's gonna happen as well because I have watched some of the preseason games and they have great ball handling, great passing. They work together so well, it is going to be amazing. The Lakers have four players that are fairly young. They have Josh Hart, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and Kyle Kuzma, who all of which LeBron is really excited to be working with. They are all great players. They're just really young and they have a lot to learn. The one though that has been interviewed most recently is Josh Hart. And he indicated that he's not quite sure where he fits in because he's not really a brand new player, but he's certainly not a veteran player. And then you have the best player in the world on their team now, LeBron James, and he's just kind of there hanging out, but that he is just really excited to get in there, become, become a part of this team, learn and move forward with the players. Lately, they've been talking to Kevin Durant. He will be a free agent in the summer of 2019 and everyone is very interested to know where he's gonna go. It is well known that the Lakers are one of his favorite teams and always have been. I personally love Kevin Durant. I actually fell in love with him many, many years ago when he was in the All-Star Weekend. He's just an exceptional player. And in game three of the championship finals last year, he single-handedly carried the Golden State Warriors to a win. In that game, Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, for whatever reason, just weren't feeling well and they weren't doing their best. They just weren't on their game. But, for, but that was the game that Kevin Durant stepped up. He made 43 points. This actually wouldn't be the first time that LeBron James and Kevin Durant played together if Kevin Durant did come to the Lakers. In the 2012 Olympics in London, they actually played together on the US team and led us to the gold medal. They were seen together all the time. They created a wonderful bond. And it has been mentioned that Kevin Durant could be coming to the Lakers in the summer of 2019. That's what I'm looking forward to. I certainly hope that happens. I think there's a really good chance of it. And um, like I said, I've just always really loved that guy. I just think he's got a great attitude and I'm really excited and hope that he does come to the Lakers and think that would be really great for them. 
As of right now, anytime anyone asks Kevin where he thinks he's gonna go, he tells them, I'm not talking about it. I'm here to play for the Warriors. I'm here to play basketball and have a good time. And I'm just not gonna talk about where I'm gonna be in uh, the summer of 2019. So we're all looking forward to hearing about that though as it gets closer, me especially. I'm also looking forward to the first game of the season, which as I said is tonight. I'm gonna be rooting for those Lakers and I will be back soon to give you more updates. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something as well. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Unfortunately, the Lakers lost their first game to the Trailblazers. The final score was 119 to 128. Unfortunately as well, if you only get seven out of 33 point shot attempts, it's very difficult to win if they would have just got a few more of those, but they certainly gave the Trailblazers a run for their money. Their next game is tonight, Saturday, October 20th at 7.30 p.m. They're at home, so hopefully they're gonna win tonight. I'm really excited. Do you